Ugh, oh, I haven't made an update on CSGO cases in a long time. Mostly because there wasn't much to talk about, but up to this moment a good amount of information has piled up so we can take a look at what's currently going on with CSGO cases and what could happen in the next few months that would have an impact on them. If you're excited for this video then please do me a favor and smash that like button. The last significant event related to cases was back at the beginning of summer, when Valve removed the non-prime drops entirely, leading to an insane but short boost in case prices. Of course, that was just a bubble that popped as fast as it grew and most prices fell back to what they were previously. Since that update, cases have been pretty dormant, just like we expected. Player numbers decreased over the summer, meaning that the consumption of cases, aka number of cases unboxed, fell significantly. Looking at data collected by the user Fiedic on the CSGO Market Forum subreddit, there were 29 million cases unboxed last March, but in August it barely went over 18 million. The production rate has also fallen significantly, since there are less players around compared to a few months ago. Plus, drop farmers got nuked pretty hard by that early summer update. By the way, don't be one of those people who made the conclusion that CSGO is dying. It only takes one look at this graph to understand that it's not true. Currently, there aren't nearly as many lockdown restrictions, so naturally the number of players decreased compared to during the lockdown. But before 2020, prior to when all this started, the number of players was significantly lower than what it is now, making it easy to conclude that CSGO is not a dying game. By the end of 2021, we're gonna see the player numbers increase a lot more. Recently we had a very hot rumor going around, the fact that there is going to be a new case added to the game, and this rumor was started by a map creator on Onypixel's livestream, but it also makes sense since in the past few years Valve did release a new case either at the end of summer or in the first half of autumn. I still think we could see the case added soon, but of course we never know what Valve is going to do. Ok, but the important discussion is not whether we will see the new case, but rather what will happen to the cases in the current drop pool. As we know, when a case gets added into the drop pool, another one has to exit. So that led to people speculating on which case is going to become rare next. At this time, all 5 of the cases have unique yellow items in them, meaning that it's not an easy choice. The safest strategy that I have encountered would be investing an equal amount of money into the 3 oldest cases from the current active pool. That gives you the highest probability that one of your case investments will be the first to be moved into the rare drop pool. Though there is another thing to consider, the fact that there are only 5 cases in the current drop pool, when normally we had 6, so there is a chance that this time around none of them will go rare. On top of this, you have to consider that CSGO is about to go into some months filled with tons of attention and hype, which means there is going to be a lot of volatility in skin prices. The Stockholm Major is about one month away and it will offer tons of things for people to spend their money on, like passes, capsules, packages and other stuff. As we all know, when events like this happen, CSGO players sell their skins as soon as they can so they can get their hands on new stuff, which causes a snowball effect, making the price of common CSGO skins dive down. And then after the major, around the start of December, we're expecting to see another operation, which once again will lead to prices going down across the board during its launch. Both of these events will have a heavy impact on the price of CSGO cases, making the idea of investing into them short term a big gamble. Not because the prices will never recover or something like that, but because the prices are very likely to reach a lower amount during the beginning of both of these events. The only way that it would make sense to buy cases right now is either if you're going to hold long term or if you're counting on the prices going up due to the inflation of player numbers. That has happened before, not always for the same reason, but we can never assume it's gonna happen in advance. You should be planning for the worst case scenario when investing, you shouldn't just be blind to that and hope it's gonna work out. Knowing all of these things allows you to make a more informed decision. Of course, that's not even half of all the factors, but if you want to profit, you have to research what you buy. That's why when people buy individual stocks on the stock market, they look into the performance history of the company, they look at future plans, they look at the negative size before 
before making a decision. And it's not like I know all that much about stocks. I'm a complete noob, but even I know those couple of things. Now let's go and pay attention to some cases in particular and look at how they have changed in the last few months. The Operation Broken Fan case, the one that was heavily invested in, went 30% down in price during the summer, and the amount of cases listed for sale also went down 15%. This one was expected to suffer this much since we all knew that the snake buy case will drag it down for a long, long time. Just like the fracture case did to the shattered web case, and even to this day, more than one year later, the shattered web case has not recovered. Most of the other cases have followed a slightly different path. I'm not even going to bother mentioning them because almost all of them fall into this category. Those cases have tripled in quantity listed for sale during the summertime, but the prices barely changed, with some exceptions of course. Recently some of them like the clutch case, gamma 2 case and others have started going up in price, which makes sense considering the recent boost in players and the lack of new events. Personally I quit investing in CSGO cases because it just doesn't fit my investing style, but I don't deny that cases are one of the best things you can invest into. The only major rule that you have to follow is do not buy if the case suddenly spikes overnight. Most of the time those spikes fall down the next day. Actually currently I don't own any CSGO investments because I'm focusing on flipping skins as fast as I can rather than holding them as investments. I found that what I'm doing doesn't require all that much work and provides me with a stable profit of 10-20% to per month. You can get the same from CSGO investments but there will be dry periods when you won't make a single penny for a few months or you might even be losing. And I just prefer having more control over my investments. If you follow my channel then you know that I have challenged myself to earn money for a car by trading slash selling skins. The last progress update was pretty crazy and the next one should come out very soon. And I already know that it is much much better than the last one. So subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. That was about it for today's video. Thank you for watching, have a nice rest of the day, join our discord server, follow me on Twitch, you can find the links down in the description. Alright, bye bye.